But before we start today's video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell notification icon, and like, share, and comment to this video. VOIDR Time Block Box comes with high quality metal which is sturdy and durable. It is a smaller version with a depth of 2.17 inches, width of 6.07 inches and length of 8.35 inches and a volume of 2.6 liters. You just open the lid and put the temptation like cell phones, iPad, cigarette, chocolate etc. You can easily charge the locked electronic devices during locking. VAYDR Time Locked Box to build a good habits. It should always your first choice. My name is Gil, and today's product is going to be the Time Locking Container. And of course, like always, I'm going to go over it with you. I'll show you how it works. So, let's get to it. Here you have your child lock button, and that's right. You have your power supply port, which means it comes with a USB-C input, and you could just go ahead and plug it in. Now you can use this, or you can use the battery, or you can use both at the same time. Now when you're using both at the same time, you're pretty much just using the power from the cord. And it takes four AA batteries. The lock is right here. That automatically is going to trigger and it'll lock up. The inside has a nice little padding on there. And then you also have your glass fitting that you could see through. And on the side, you have the charging cable hole. Let's go over the function buttons. All the way to your left, you have your setting button, your up and down, and here you have your lock button. Once everything is set, that's what you want to go ahead and push. Now, if you have the baby lock on, you'll notice that there's a big little baby face on there. No matter what you touch, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna, the baby will blink, but nothing's gonna move because you have the baby lock on. Let's go ahead and shut that off. Just press the button in. And it'll, it'll just disappear on there. All the way to your right. These are your minutes, hours, and days. And we'll be setting that up in one second. To set it up, you want to go ahead and press, and you see that it's blinking, you put down the minutes that you want to go ahead and set it up for. If you want to go to the day, I mean the um, hours, you want to press this again, and then you can press how many hours, and then again if you press, it'll go to the days. Now to make it all stop, go ahead and press and then just bring it back down. So just for a sample, I'm gonna set it just for 10 seconds. That's the wrong one, let's see days. So I have to switch it over. And those are the minutes. I'm gonna set it up for one minute. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. You're gonna hear some beeps. And now it's completely locked. I can't open it. As you can see, I cannot open it. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a minute and then we'll see if, uh, if it opens up. When the minute is up, you're gonna hear a beeping sound and it will unlock and then you can just go ahead and open it. When you're setting it up, I'm gonna set it up again for one minute. Now I'm gonna lock it. It's beeping now, if I touch any key, it's gonna stop. So this way, if you wanna reset it, you can. If the um, cover is slightly open, you'll notice it's letting you know that it's open. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for one minute again. I'm gonna lock it. It's gonna beep. It 
If you want to add more time, go ahead and press this for five seconds. And now you could add more time to it. So here, I'm gonna add another minute. And it's still locked. If you're not setting the timer, just go ahead and press the lock button for five seconds, or three seconds, I'm sorry. And it automatically will lock for you. And to open it back up, and she's open. If you're not using it, if you don't touch any of the settings or buttons, it's going to automatically shut off. Turn off the beeping sound. All you need to do is press the up and down button and the child lock on the back at the same time. Let's see if it worked. No beeping sound. To so put it back on, do the same thing. Child lock, up and down button at the same time. And now you have the beeping sound. For a quick setup, without touching the setting, the uh, setting button, you wanna go ahead and press either the up arrow or down arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the down arrow. Press it again. And there's my one minute. Everything is blinking. Go ahead and press the setting. Lock. And you're good to go. The time locking container will save the, five, the last five locking records. After one minute, it opens up. And we're good. But before we start today's video, subscribe to our channel Hit the bell notification icon and like, share, and comment to this video.